here it is guys what you've all been waiting for bloons monkey city so let me show you the basics really quick before we get to something too crazy here first of all you have all of your towers in this little town right here and what you want to do is the basic point of the game is to expand your town to make it bigger so how do you make it bigger you have to actually attack the tiles around you to make yourself bigger and you can notice that there's some red balloons or some green balloons or some other green balloons and pink balloons and white balloons and lead balloons oh my goodness the farther you go the harder these balloons get moabs and ceramics and stuff how are you gonna pop all those guys well you have to use the towers that are inside of your little thing about right here so I have some dart monkeys I have one boomerang tower and then a couple other random things that just help me out along the way but let's get started here let's go for a quick attack so we're gonna attack a tile here um, of course, you have a couple restrictions, and they tell you what would be good in Ninja Monkey, but overall, we don't need any of that stuff. This is going to be really simple, guys. These are just red balloons right now. And what I did, because I have three Dart Monkeys at the moment, and also this boomerang right here, we can easily pop these guys. So you notice this is telling us where the balloons come out. So if you're Total Noob Cake, that'll easily make sense for us a little bit later. Got one, one of these uh, Dart Monkeys here, and we could just build two of them, actually. Let's build two Dart Monkeys. Now, as far as placement goes, I'm pretty good with placement. So if you guys are noob cakes, you guys don't really understand this game that much, it's okay. Just uh, place the towers uh, somewhere into the map. I mean, they try and explain it to you right at the beginning there. And that those weren't even the best placements for those towers. They're actually reasonable placements, but not the best. I think I am one of the best tower placers in the entire game, maybe. I don't know. I think I'm pretty good. So overall, I think we shouldn't have a problem beating all these guys. There's only three waves. And if you notice, we just totally rocked all those balloons. Red balloons are really freaking easy to kill. No problems whatsoever so far. And we get free land and we get free money. Look at all that stuff. We get free everything. We captured another tile. Cha-ching! And we get $135, so that's pretty awesome. We also earned 10 experience, and no lives lost, so we get some moonstones, or bloonstones, excuse me. I keep saying moonstones because I'm used to Pokemon. So these bloonstones, I've been told that you don't want to spend your balloon stones. Um, save up for them for a little bit later, so we'll see what happens about that. We're gonna just gonna capture some more tiles. We're gonna capture probably like six more tiles really fast, and uh, show you guys how easy it is to capture some of these early tiles. So let's just get one, one of these guys, one of these guys. Now, one thing's about the one thing about the early game is it's not really that it really it doesn't really matter that much where you put your towers because you're probably gonna win pretty easily. But if you actually do want to play skillfully, don't put your dart monkeys right next to each other. Kind of space them out a little bit because then they'll miss just a little bit less, and you won't have to spend as much time um, popping all these red balloons. Just do three quick easy pops and capture tiles as fast as possible. Because so we all know we like to capture things as fast as possible and move on with our game. That's what we want to do. So here we go. Let me show you guys what kind of towers we can build now. That we got space and we got money. What are we going to do with all this extra space that we have? Let's build some stuff. Because stuff does, in fact, take time to build. So this look right here, if you haven't noticed, we have 25 minutes until that is built. So we have to build something. Let's build something. What are we going to build? Well, I can go with boomerangs. I can go with dart monkeys. I can go with pretty much anything. I think what I wanted to do was kind of just chill with uh, mostly dart monkeys for now or something maybe like a spike factory where are spike factories can we even get spike factories uh, it doesn't look like it the only thing we can build right now is tax shooters bombs ninjas snipers maybe this is it spike factory warehouse which requires town level five. Oh, too bad so yeah they do require you to get up to certain levels and stuff like that so instead of building all that let's just build something else let's build the special buildings no that's not what i want upgrade building i think this is what i want no nope, that's not what i want i want the resource buildings i want to build another windmill if they build a windmill there they take a while to build but they're experienced and i want to go up in my levels really fast so i can build the good towers that's why i'm building all these guys they all they are also pretty expensive as well so uh since we're i'm just gonna get some land right now it doesn't really matter just get land that's the main point of the game like i said like i was telling you guys a little bit earlier get the land so we'll easily pop all these guys. Now, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but there's a bunch of new maps. Pretty much every single one is a new map overall. Pretty freaking awesome, if you ask me. And since all these are just red balloon territories, look at that. Level 3 already, we're just going to take these guys all down. Three dart monkeys is more than enough. I think what we have to do is probably start getting some uh, special upgrade things pretty soon. So... Yeah, you yeah. captured another tile, and our little, our city, city level is, oh man, I can't even talk today. Our city level is up, we're at level 3 right now. What was something, can we build something that we couldn't build until level 3? Eh, not really. I mean, I can go with a sniper or something like that, but overall, it's not even going to be very important. I want to get this guy. Monkey Academy is already built. 25 power. Um, I do have a lot of power, actually. What is all this stuff? I don't even know what all this stuff is. Um, earns 100 experience, blah, 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 spike factory. What's the boomerang one? Let's get the boomerang one up. Where is that guy? 
Monkey Academy, blah, blah, blah. All your dart monkeys and boomerang throwers. Boom. Okay, let's get the boomerang throwers up. I want to get that guy. Is this the Monkey Academy? Monkey Academy. Yeah, boy. So, um, let's get, uh, let's get him up to Glive Ricochet. I think that's better than a Bionic Boomer for right now. So it's going to take a little while for those guys to upgrade. So let's get them going. And they do cost power. How do you get power? I don't even know. I think windmills generate power, right? Do I have a windmill right now? I think I only have one. Maybe. I don't know. I'll have to figure this out for you guys in a little while. But in the meantime, let's just get more space. Let's get more tiles. We're getting even more money, too. I don't even know how we're getting all this extra monies. Just spam things nice and easy. Maybe I'll venture into green territory pretty soon after I get all these red spaces. Uh, it seems like there is no blue spaces that I've seen. It's just reds. I have not found any bugs, either, because this is the beta. It's supposed to have a lot of bugs so far. It's been going really swell for me. Maybe not quite as amazing for you guys. I don't know. And here we go. Boom. By the way, this music kind of makes me want to dance. Yeah, dog. Let's just capture these all really nice and fast. Don't ever get the balloon stone things. Trust me. Just chill with what you got right now. It's so freaking easy to pop these guys. Uh, maybe a little bit later, but not right now. So here we go. I'm pretty much doing the same exact thing every single time. That's the kind of boring part about this, is that you have to do the same thing over and over again sometimes. But that's okay. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. We're still doing it really nice and fast, getting some extra money and getting bunches of stuff. So I'm probably just going to build another windmill or something pretty soon. I want to go high up in levels. I think level is probably the main thing you want to get up, at least so far from what I've seen. You know, since I don't really have to worry about towers too much, as soon as I get the $500, I'll build another windmill. So I'm going to get another 110 right here. Are there coins? I guess they're coins. So, yeah, for placement. What do you want to do for placement? I, I know I really haven't been too specific about that. Well, when you're placing things if for the early levels, it really doesn't matter that much. But I like keeping the uh, Dart Monkey just barely in reach for where the balloons come out, but keeping him have a better range where the balloons are going to end up near the edge. And that'll give you... Uh, the reason why you want to do that is because he's pretty much going to hit every single balloon over here, but then over in this area, you don't want him to uh, have just a little sliver where he can hit. You want to have a lot of space so he's never going to miss anything at all. Also, as far as boomerangs go, I don't know. There's really not that many great spots for this guy, but let's just keep him on first right here. Just keep him uh, swinging around. We never spend all our money anyways. That is three of three, and we easily won that one. But that was my first boomerang. Yay! So we're almost done with these red ones, and then soon we'll move on to the green ones and see what happens. Maybe we'll just build a couple more dart monkeys. Oh, I've never seen this one before. This looks like a really good spot right here. One, two, and maybe just one more after that. So you're noticing I'm putting them, of course, reasonably close to each other, but not right on top of each other. Let me show you what happens when you put them right on top of each other. They're, they're going to start missing just a little bit, except I think I put them in too perfect of a spot almost. Oh, man. Sometimes if you put them too close together, if the balloons start overwhelming them, you'll have guys shooting like, down here, and they'll actually miss, and the darts do miss, and it's just terrible. So, uh, there we go. Easily popping all these balloons. Maybe we'll build some more dart monkeys. I think that's probably my best bet. Actually, we need to get upgrades going, so let's get the upgrades going. We need another academy. Upgrade build. Oh, we can't build another one, can we? Oh, poo. So let's just get one of everything. Let's get a sniper thing. Let's get... Oh, we're running out of power. Every building you own uses a portion of the available power. Build more windmills or watermills to generate more power. Sweet, we can do that. I'd like to do that, but I don't have enough money for stuff. Build windmill. Resource buildings. Oh, $500. Requires town level 4. Okay, so they want me to do that, but I can't do it. Sad face. Can't really build anything right now, so I just have to capture more stuff, I guess. Is there any more reds? There's actually a lot of reds over there. Indeed, a lot of reds. Okay, let's do it. Attack. So right now we're just attacking red ones. Oh, look at this. This is actually a really ridiculously long level. Um. Yeah, let's just do it right here. Boom, and... We'll just put one there at the bottom. It should be a nice, easy win for us again. But I, like I was saying, guys, I really like this music. It makes me want to dance. I don't know if you guys are dancing right now, but I'm totally dancing. If you guys could see me, you'd probably laugh. Laugh right in my face. So I think this is probably one of those things that's probably not the best live stream type of thing. So we'll have to see. Maybe I won't live stream this. Maybe I'll just live stream mostly battles. We'll have to see when it comes up, but I did just make a really freaking sweet video for you guys. So we'll get to see that pretty soon. Hopefully. 
And one more dart monkey. If you haven't noticed, I've been doing the exact same thing every single time. Because if it works, why do you, why change your strategy up? I think they should have changed the rounds up just a little bit more. They probably should have put more, like, when in their red balloons. They probably should have made them come in different ways or something. I don't know. Or maybe just put more blue balloons and red balloons kind of mixed with each other. But probably when we get pretty far out into the game, it'll probably be much, much more difficult. Yeah, yeah. I hope that we don't ever run into a wall where we just have to wait like an hour before we can do anything, you know? Like a lot of games they have like have it where you can only do stuff every couple hours or something, so it takes like days to actually get anywhere, and I really hope that, that this isn't one of those games. So bloomstones, we have a bunch of bloomstones by the way. How do we get more? I don't know. I guess we probably have to pay real money to get more. <laughs> And I'm not going to do that right now. No, nope, nope. Maybe if there's something ridiculously awesome that we need to pay money for, I usually do that. But I usually play with skill, and I can usually beat most of these things with skill without even having to do that. So here we go. Let's build some more stuff. We have... You are using 66 of 70 power generated. Oh, I see. So basically we have to wait 30 minutes until that's done. Or we can just finish it now with balloon stones. Eh, I don't know. Maybe I should use them now. There's a star level. Ooh, I kind of want to see what that little... It looks like a hibiscus flower. That's what it looks like. Uh, let's see, I have so much land and nothing to build. Nothing to build. I can't build any of this stuff. Oh, I can build a water mill. Oh, yeah. Let's go capture one of those. Okay, let's try it, guys. We're going to venture into green territory and see what happens. we got to get that water mill going. Green time. Oh, it's a water level. Oh, man. So we're actually going to put him right over here. We're gonna put him right over here. And then boomerang-wise, I don't know. So this is level 1 of 5, so this is still just red balloons. Oakley, Oakley, not a big deal yet. And soon to get a boomerang. I think boomerang X. Boomerang is really freaking cheap, $350. And there's blue balloons. So here, now we're getting more intense. Or no way we're getting no lives lost on this one. Maybe. Oh man, intense. Indeed, very intense. Now we gotta get this boomerang up. Also, as far as tarting goes, I'm gonna actually leave this guy on last. Watch this. Watch how awesome his last action is gonna be. He's gonna keep throwing all these guys right down there. Easily popping all these green blooms. Not really easily, but just barely. And we're not gonna get no lives lost. Too bad. Too bad, so sad. We just need... We have 30 lives, so let's make it happen, guys. Make it happen. And my last little tower is a tech... Or, uh... Dart monkey. Also, it's kind of weird because you have to use zero zero towers. You can't even get any upgrades yet for them. Oh crap! Maybe we should have waited to generate more power or something like that before we went for these ridiculous attacks against us. Because that's just a lot of balloons almost getting through. We're down to 23 lives. Can we take all these guys down? It's going to be ridiculously close. Level five. I don't know if they're going to be the same exact levels every single time, but hey, if we can survive and then we can just get the watermill thing going. That would be awesome, because I like that watermelon. This, like, this level actually seemed easier than the last one, except for all these green blues coming at the very end here. Oh, goodness gracious. This music is getting intense as well. Very hard, very end of this level, and we did indeed beat it. We lost quite a few lives, but we beat it. We can build our watermill now. Let's get this watermill going. Yeah. Build it. Let's build, uh... We want the uh, resource buildings. We want a watermill. There we go. It's going to take 30 minutes to build as well, so we don't have enough power yet. Um, I don't know. Let's just finish it now. Should we? I don't know. I, I was told not to really use the balloon stones, but hey, let's use a little bit. Because I want to get something else. That's a lot of power, too. So, your city is now level 4. Yes! Quest completed. I didn't even know there was quests. Where are the quests? Oh, I didn't even notice all these quest things on the side. We definitely need to check these out. Capture one piece of land rated hard or higher. Oakley Doakley, what are these? Research long range dart upgrades. Oh man, we gotta get all these things going for us. So this is gonna take a while. Let's get uh let's get sharp darts. Why do we need that? Who cares about that stuff? Yeah, screw that. Monkey Town Hall welcoming research. Oh silly things. Think silly things that aren't very important. So now that we got all this energy, what are we going to do? Let's build a bunch of random stuff. I don't even know. How about a sniper thing would be nice? Let's get another sniper. Let's build uh, more boomerang huts. Those boomerangs were freaking awesome. 
And then also, if we can, once I get enough money, I'd like to build another... Can I build another Monkey Academy? Already built. Okay, you only have one of one. So I guess I'll start building some of these things. That'll help, hopefully. And let's get going. Let's capture some more stuff. Now that I got... Oh, what, ha what did I get? Better boomerangs! Yay! So that was one of the quests. Demolish? No! What was that? I didn't know. Don't do not do that to me. Uh, this guy, right? There we go. We want to get the glaive thrower next. Can't afford... $1,800 is a lot of money. So what do we have? We have a bank over here. This bank means that... Uh... Ching, Chang, Walla Walla, Bing, Bang. Um, next capacity, 4,500. How do we get it up to that? I don't even know. I don't even know yet. So, uh, I guess we'll just have to capture some more territories. Let's get these red ones since they're nice and easy for us. I think we'll make this like a nice 30-minute video. Let's get uh, Dart Monkey here, Dart Monkey here, Dart Monkey there. Dart Monkey's everywhere! It's going to be nice and easy for us anyways. So we don't really have to worry at all. Red balloons. <laughs> and I think if we get a sniper next time, we shouldn't actually have any problems with those green territories. I'd really also like to get those uh, balloon stones going for us. That would be extremely awesome if we can get some balloon stones. Because uh, the more balloon stones we get now, the more balloon stones we don't have to worry about later. So here we go. Boomerang. I like also that you can use hotkeys and stuff on those guys. Yes. One more red one. This is the last red one, I believe. So nice and spread out, nice and even right over here. By the way, I have zero achievement points right now, because I had to make a new account to get this. So I have zero achievements, um, zero Ninja Kiwi Cohen, zero everything. Sad face. Easy three out of three with the red ones. 220 Bloomstones, sweet action. Let's get over here and play some of these green ones pretty soon. Alrighty. How much money do I got now? Oh, 500 bucks. Sweet. Let's get another windmill going. This guy's giving me experience, right? Upgrade to level 2. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Definitely crap. Um. Okay, he gives me one plus one sniper. Let's build some sort of upgrade thing. Um. What is this? Sniper monkeys and dartling gunners. Okay. Ninja Dojo for ninja training. Alright. Ordnance and munition support. Bomb shooters. They really call them bomb shooters. Mortar monkey and bomb shooters. Okay. Glue factory, ship foundry, aeronautics laboratory. Monkey ace, aeroplane. Alrighty, alrighty. Not bad at all. These guys are actually pretty darn difficult to get. Those guys are expensive. So... Uh, I don't know. What should I get next? Let's just get a ninja. Let's just get, like, one of each. Why not? Let's get another cannon, too. Get a cannon thing. Just in case. You never know. We'll never know if we're going to really like these guys. And let's just gather some more stuff. Let's get uh, one of those water mills again. Maybe we'll build one of those guys pretty soon. Holy crap. What the heck is this? So, yeah. Dart monkeys don't seem like they're going to be that fantastic for us. Let's keep this guy, like, right over... Uh, there. Keep him on last. I don't even know if I'm doing this the right way, guys. I really don't. This one seems way more difficult than the other one. The other one was kind of swirly. This one's kind of like, uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. And the Sniper Monkey's $350, so I'll be able to afford it after this round, so that's good. They're all coming down the left side there, though. Oh, I see. This is actually really easy. I thought they came, They ended over here. They don't. They have to go all the way back up before they can get out of here, so... No big deal, let's just get another boomer. Keep that going on first, though. Yeah, look at that. This one's actually super easy. In fact, let's just put one there, there since it doesn't really matter. You can shoot all over the place. And boomerangs, my favorite tower. It looks like they're my favorite tower in uh, BTD5. They're my favorite tower in battles. They're also my favorite tower in Bloons Monkey City so far. Oh, yes, indeed. Maybe dartling guns would be pretty good, too, but for right now, hey, boomerangs are the way to go, it looks like. Also, snipers. Yeah, snipers. So, snipers are... 
Uh, I don't know, they're kind of expensive. The good thing is they have an infinite range, so they can attack anywhere on the screen, but the dart monkeys are just a little bit better overall. I also got no lives lost on that one, so I got some free stuff, and I got a level up on everything. Look at that. I also can't even really tell what level I'm on. I'm on level 5. It doesn't say up here, though, which is kind of weird. Oakley, Oakley. Build a second banana farm. Build a second banana bank. Okay. Oh man, these things are huge. Do I need to gather more stuff before I can do that? I don't know. Let's see. So we need a resource building. We need to save up for a banana farm. But first we need to get a, mon a monkey bank, which is $750. So we can do that after this round right here. we we'll have to fight some green guys. Yeah, get some green guys over here. Ooh, a nice little green level. It's actually rated easy too, so I don't think it'll be that big of a problem. And then the next thing I'm going to get is actually a boomerang. Look at that. Blue balloons do indeed come on the first level here. No problem for my awesome dart monkeys right there. Look at that. Killed them. I keep getting more money to start off with, though. I'm kind of confused on why that happens. I don't really get it. I really think they should kind of nerf the boomerang monkeys already. They're just too good. $350? I think they should be 400 at least. Boomerang monkeys pop three balloons per shot, even though they're not exactly perfectly accurate. But if you know where to place them, watch this. I'll shoot, like, three balloons every single time with this uh, boomerang right there. And easily pop all these balloons. All those blues and everything. So, yeah, I mean... Boomerangs are more along the line of the way to go compared to dart monkeys. I mean, of course, they're worse versus fast balloons, like pink balloons and stuff. But they're not even close to coming into contact with us right now. We're just killing green balloons as a max, the max balloon at the moment. Only reason I kind of want to use snipers is so I don't have to worry about those those balloons that just come over here and I have to wait 30 seconds to freaking kill them because they take so long. Kind of annoying, actually. Oh ho ho! Ho ho! Actually, you know what, guys? Let's... Let's just go for a freaking one-hour special of Bloons Monkey City. What do you guys think? Should we just keep playing forever? Oh, yeah, that's what I'm interested in. Actually, my other video, which was about an hour long, is just about done saving as well, so maybe we'll get a little bit higher quality. Hopefully it's not laggy right now. Win! I like that. It just says win. And now it's time for a banana bank. Build a banana bank. All right. Uh, resource buildings. Oh, monkey bank. Monkey bank. It's different. It's not a banana bank. Excuse me. It takes 25 freaking minutes to build that guy. All right. Alrighty, no big deal. We've been killing green balloons really easily now. Just been owning everything so far. Uh. Let's get a boomerang there, and then we'll just finish it off with a few dart monkeys right over here. I think that's probably my best bet. If I go two boomerangs, I feel a little bit unsafe, even though that's more popping power. Look at that, that was a nice easy level 1 as well. There were no blue balloons on that one. So they do switch it up, which is kind of cool. I guess I kind of like that. Still no blue balloons? What the heck's going on? Maybe only on the water levels is the one with the blue balloons. I don't know. It also means less monies, I guess. But we still started off with a bunch of money, so it really doesn't matter very much at all. And there we go, my video is done, done saving, so now I have 30 frames per second, and before I was at like 20. So maybe you'll see, I still see a little bit of a difference? I don't know. Let's get this guy up. Uh, we'll keep him on last as well. Look at that sweet action popping all these blue balloons. So overall, this game has been very, very easy. I have not had any problems with anything coming in so far. I just pop literally like everything. The only hard level was that one watermill level. And it's like, oh, here's more lives. Oh, I think it's because my monkey town goes up. As my monkey town goes up, I get more lives and I get more money. Well, that makes sense. Alrighty. So eventually, I will, once I become pro for you guys, I'll show you guys the ropes of Bloons Monkey City. But for right now, I'm learning things. I'm learning things. So um, just keep that in mind. And there, oh man, are Bloons going to get through? Let's just get a quick sniper. Oops. Oops. No, I got no lives lost. Screw you. You captured another tile. All right. Green balloons everywhere. I think what I'm going to do is I need to get, uh, I need to get like a four area for that banana farm. So let's get that up. 
Let's check ninjas out. I don't know. Maybe ninjas can be used somewhat effectively. Do I, am I, do I think so? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, man. Look at that ninja. He is pretty good. I'm not going to lie. Because his ninja little things go on for, like, freaking ever. Also get a sniper for cleanup after that guy. Yeah. Oh, he's only $300 now. $295? Why is that? Why did he go down to $295? Wasn't he just $350? What the heck? This is confusing me. Maybe it's the level. I don't know. Maybe I got a bonus. Oh, maybe I got a bonus. <gasps> I have to start checking that out. Oh, man. I want to get no lives lost. First, come on. Get these guys down. I think boomerangs... Boomerangs are probably my best bet. Inst okay, here we go. Boomerangs. Uh, let's put them right here. Keep them on last. Lots of pop and power in here. I also have the upgrade for my boomerangs as well, which I definitely want to get those guys up to probably 3-0. I think 3-0, maybe 3-2 is probably my best bet for boomerangs. I don't have very many boomerang dojos yet. I just only have two. And the final level. Since I won't be able to afford anything, I'll just get a dart monkey really quick. Nice, quick, quickie dart monkey. Yep, nice and easy for us. All the balloons got easily popped. Easily, easy queasy. Actually, this is a long level. Oh, yeah. Homeward Bound. Oh, that was such a good movie. I really liked Homeward Bound. I don't know if you guys were old enough to see Homeward Bound, but Homeward Bound was probably, possibly, quite, quite possibly the best movie ever. When you're a kid. So let's get another, uh, I don't know, what do we want to get? We want to upgrade these guys, right? Okay, those guys are all done. So, okay, I can't afford that yet. I don't have enough cash. How do I get more cash? I gotta get more banana banana farms. That's what I gotta get. Oh, yeah. I don't get enough banana farms. So there's, you can definitely never have enough banana farms is what it looks like. Start saving up for these guys. I don't need any more towers or anything. I'm easily popping everything with, with, the, with the towers I have. Um... This, again, is a pretty reasonably easy one. We can just put this guy on last. Get a nice little cleanup, cleanup guy right here. And there. Easy as cake. Only red balloons again. Indeed, very easy. I don't know, how are you, how are you guys enjoying this so far? I don't know, I feel like it's, it's pretty fun, but it's not one of those things that you can just make billions upon billions of videos about, because it's going to be the same thing for the most part. It might be better to just play it through and just see what's going on around there. Hmm, maybe. Also, whoa, what's about this? I, that was my first upgraded tower ever. Multi-target. So I just got multi-target. What multi-target does is it allows me to hit seven balloons per shot instead of just one. And, of course, no less lost in it still. Sweet. These guys versus good versus, like, those grouped reds and stuff, which is I was having quite a bit of problems with. Uh, I'd really like to get that 3-0 uh, boomerang, though. I think that's probably my best bet for getting uh, these guys. Because if you notice, if I get a 3-0 boomerang, I'll be able to easily pop all these guys really, really easily. It'll just be like, attack, attack, attack. be much better than a 2-3. Also, uh, to finish this up, since ninjas are ridiculously cheap, let's get these guys up. I'm also going to check for the next round what the bonuses do. If the bonuses will be good for like certain guys, like ninjas and stuff like that, for the certain level. That might mean I want to attack... With, or build certain towers first, and that could be an extremely helpful uh, advantage for me. Easy. Homeward bound, yay. Another tile. Bonus cash, $170. A little bit of experience. That's where I'm going to build my banana farm next. This guy right here. In fact, I'm going to probably build two of the banana farms right next to each other. I should probably organize my town a little bit better. I kind of just has a bunch of random nonsense pretty much everywhere. Uh, so, next thing's next. I gotta save up some monies. I really do. Mmm. $130. Okay. Oh, yeah, look at this. I got all these guys. Oh, I didn't even look, did I? So, yep. These guys are check marked, which means it has to be like a bonus. Put this guy on last. Targeting, targeting wise, yeah. I mean, I'm pretty good with my targeting, I think. And ninjas are overall, they're actually really impressing me, especially because this guy only cost $510 this time. Freaking awesome. And I'm probably just going to get a 1-0 one zero, one zero boomerang again. Because that guy really freaking helped out versus those grouped reds. Like, the ninja's not as good versus the grouped reds 
as this guy right here. Bam shazam. Look at that. Now we shouldn't have a problem versus these group reds. Versus the green balloons. And with the combination of those guys, yes, probably a little bit more of a problem, though. I'm just going to keep them on first. Screw it. I don't feel like changing it back and forth all the time. And get another uh, quick cut with a sniper. I don't know. I just need more money, though. That's, like, my biggest problem right now. I need to get some banana farms up and just play some tiles on these guys nice and fast. This one's more like South Mexican style music. I don't know. It's all uh, acoustic y, I guess. Uh, there we go. Let's get another one. Get two giant banana farm spaces. Uh, what do I want here? How about we'll start off with the boomerang? Put him on this and this, and then uh, hope that that's enough for this level right here. Oh crap, a green balloon just came. That's not good. <laughs> oh man, so definitely never doing that again, I don't think. Unless. Oh! Intense, Chris. You're going crazy today, aren't you? Indeed, you are. Now it's time to dance. Boom, 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 boom. After you do something epic like that, you gotta, gotta get this going. After you just realized your boomerang was not enough, so you changed it up and you did something totally crazy, Chris. You did it! Oh man, look at that. We're already past 30 minutes on this video, so hopefully you guys are enjoying so far. Oh, this music just keeps getting better and better. Ninja Kiwi did a good job with this music. In fact, I would actually almost listen to this, like, not playing a game. But, you know what? They're starting to overrun me with too many balloons at the moment. I definitely need to get a boomerang up. So we're just going crazy talk today. Going crazy. Oh, what the heck? Oh, we lost a life. Oh, it didn't work out for us just today. I didn't realize they can go do down two different ways. So it's just failing us now. I sold way too many things trying to get no lives lost. It <laughs> did not work out. In fact, I don't think it's going to make us lose, but overall, just way too many things. All right. All right. I failed me. I've totally epically failed me. Oh, man. That was the first time I lost. Poop. All right. Ran out of lives on round four. What does that mean? I get to just redo it? All right. That was easy enough. I don't lose anything by doing that, do I? Alright, so watch how we should have done it in the first place. Not gotten the boomerang up too high, and then just gotten a quick dart monkey, actually, right uh, behind him. How about right, right over uh, here? I also get one right over here as well. Bam, look at that. Sweet action right there. Now that's a good combination. Also, blue balloons didn't come this time, did they? So I had a much... Or a green balloon didn't come this time. What the heck? They just made it easier for me? I guess. I guess so. Made it easier for me because they knew I sucked. Well, there's a lot of green balloons right there. Indeed. Holy crap, that's a lot of green balloons right there. Where are they all going to go? Oh, we took them down. Look at that. We didn't even need that dart monkey. We'll just go with a nice awesome boomerang and we're keeping it no loves lost this time sweet so now we actually can actually get the the free balloon stones from this time instead of last time maybe it's a better thing that we lost doing that but now that i've now that i've lost i've kind of looking like a new but hey you know you know what you have to learn from your mistakes and i made a mistake it's getting tougher was the difficulty it was actually only two star two little dots i guess so I don't know, I kind of want to try my luck and see if I can get some higher level ones, you know? Maybe. Maybe soon. Maybe get some level 4 ones or something. I never even look at those, do I? Ooh, yay, level 6! Indeed, very nice. You have 850 starting cast, 45 lives, we earned a little bit of money, and some balloon stones. Sweet action. Build a water mill. Alright, let's do another water mill. Capture a tile. Okay, yeah, we should probably, uh... Build another watermill. Screw it. Watermill. I gotta get that banana farm up, though, too. Um, this guy's not even done building yet, is he? So here we go. Let's see. Build a watermill. Okay. Build 
Store more. Build a second banana bank. Build a second banana farm. Capture one piece of land rated hard or higher. So you, oh, you can scroll like this. So here we go. These are rated hard. What's the pinks rated? What's that considered? Medium. No, we don't want to play medium. We want to play hard. What's that considered? Hard. This is one's considered hard. Should we go for it, guys? I don't think we're ready for it yet. Let's get some more green ones first. And there's a lot of green ones over here before we have to move on to pinks. In fact, there's a lot of water ones over here that are green. Oh, there's a bunch of freaking greens. Let's get them all. Let's get all these green ones. Uh, should I try it? How much is the 650? No, we can't do that. Can't do that to myself. So yeah, there's really not that many levels. I mean, at first I was like, oh man, look at all these new levels. But realistically, so far, there's been like, we've been replaying the same like four levels. But I've also played a, a mountain level before you guys even saw me. So I played one of those guys, and I haven't seen any of those recently. I don't I actually don't even see very many close at all. Get another boomerang right here. Look at that sweet boomerang action right there. These guys are popping massive amounts of balloons. Massive amounts. In fact, let's upgrade this guy. Let's get him up to 250. Then I won't have to worry about these group blues and stuff. Oh, yeah. That's why I think the three zeros are going to be amazing. Because they're just going to ricochet off each other and just ricochet into everything. And oh, my goodness, delicious. Uh, I just froze the game by right-clicking. Holy crap. And then the next thing, what do I want to do? I don't know. Cannons, whatever you want, really. Everything's probably going to work pretty well for us. This is level 5 anyway, so we don't even need to build anything. Really solid defense here. I think that's all I really needed. I really need, like, all these towers here. That's, like, a perfect defense so far. And another tile! Yay, no lives lost. Another one. Another no lives lost. I don't even think I've only beaten one that I didn't get no lives lost on. And I've also gotten one where I just completely died. I have epic fail right there. Building things. As far as building things goes, I need more cash. I need more cash, so what am I going to do? I could fill this with my balloon stones if I wanted to. I have 305 balloon stones at the moment. So what's this button right here? Fill the banks. What am I at right now? It doesn't even tell me what I have. 20,000. Upgrade to level 2. 20,000 dollars. Holy crap. Um, I wonder what it is right now. It doesn't even tell me how much it would cost. Fill banks. Not even a bank. Banks. So yeah, let's get like we got two banks right there that we can fit. Why don't we, why don't we make it four? Three three banks up there. Three farms, I mean. Three farms up there. Uh and now that I have this two hundred and fifty dollar upgrade, I don't feel that bad about building a dart monkey right there. Let's just hope don't not too many green balloons come early on like that one time. I think they knew. They probably knew that I built that one tier boomerang, and they decided to magically send out the one green balloon just to totally mess everything up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So here we go. On and on. Game time, boys. Okay, I really like this music, guys. I don't know how many times I've said it, but it's good. I like techno-ish techno -ish type of music, and this is just perfect. Gotta give props to whoever made this one. Um, so as far as my town goes, I don't know, how do you guys like it so far? I think it's pretty nice, tell me what you guys think, you guys think I'm messing everything up or I'm looking alright or what? I think I built just enough towers for things so far, for all the greens at least. Pinks probably, I might need to get some other things. Oh, oh yeah, boom shaka laka. And I'm getting to the point where I'm getting enough monies here. I think uh, this guy's going to have to take a little while to build. And then I still need to wait. Because this is my bank thing. That's a bank. And then I can build a couple farms. I don't think that's four farms. I think this is actually one farm is four tiles. Which makes sense. That's why I wanted to put one, two, and then three up here. This one's ranked nice and easy. I've never seen one difficulty yet, though. Oh, man. Oh man, we're we in the mountains or something. All right, this guy in last. Uh, 
Oh, I'm not allowed dart monkeys. Suck my balls. We're not going to get no lives lost on this one for sure. I don't think, at least. Unless we do something magical. Magical with the sniper. The schnurp schnurp. That's what, that's what Tyler loves to call them. The schnurpers. I'm not a big fan of schnurpers, but I'm a fan of snipers. Oh, yes, I am. I like to snipe them. Snipe them. Not any need to hype them. Yes, that per sounded perfect. I'm a poet, and I know it. Ho ho! Didn't know that you were. I was gonna say that, did ya? Cause that's sweet right there. I think next thing I should get is probably just uh another boom, another boomerang. In fact, let's just put him right over here. I think that'll be a perfect spot for him, actually. So I can't get any dart monkeys. Yes, sniper. Yeah, do it, dog. Level five already. I think we're gonna be able to do this. I think we are. I don't think I, don't think I should save up for a ninja. So yeah, this is where the uh, hindrances come in, where we can't use certain towers, or certain towers are good on this level. I guess because we're on like the high Alps, monkeys aren't allowed. At least what it looks like. At least looks like there's clouds and stuff. Kind of cool, actually. Um. Okay, so let's check this out. What does it say? Restricted tax shooters and banana farms. Favored ninjas. So let's use the ninjas today. Start off with a little ninja right here. Alrighty. So I'm still bad versus grouped balloons. Ninjas are not that great versus group balloons. They're better versus these strong balloons because they shoot so freaking fast. So let's get a boomerang over here for the group balloons. Let's buy the next thing on the agenda. Snipers are also good versus the strong glutes. So, I mean, that's a good combination right there. Just using a boomerang in combination with whatever the heck else you want. I should probably start going for more of those uh, things on the side there. Whatever those things are. Um, the quests or whatever. I guess they're quests. Kind of like World of Warcraft or something. I don't know. I, I don't usually play those types of games. I don't play those RPG types of games. I usually play more strategy games or shooting games. I am a fan of Call of Duty, even though a lot of people think uh, I only play Flash strategy games. No, I do play other games. I have a PS3. Uh, I play Xbox, but I don't have an Xbox um, with my friends and stuff like that. And I also play... I have a Wii as well. I don't really play that one that much, though. Um, just some Metroid Prime and Super Smash Brothers and stuff like that every once in a while. So here we go. I really want to get some more banana farms. That's like my main goal right now. Get banana farms. And that's it. Level 5 is finished. I like that they load so fast. It's just like, bam, you won, you know? Like, you bopped all the balloons. So I'm at, like, almost my max cash. So I should probably build something in the meantime. Why don't I just build another banana bake or something? I don't know. What should I build? But how much is, uh... How much does this guy cost? Yeah, banana farms cost 2 grand. 2 grand. Holy crap. I can only have 2 right now. So I need to get my level up just a little bit after that. How do I get Bluntonium? Bluntonium is used to create balloons to attack other players with and steal city cash from them. Click to get more. Hmm. Bluntonium storage tank. How do you get Bluntonium, though? Bluntonium generator. Okay, there we go. $2,000. So I don't think I'm going to get this stuff just yet. I can't use Bluntonium yet. I have to do something else first. I have to... Probably... One... Zero... Yes, we built the watermill. Yeah! Collect the monies. Okay, we got juiced. Now what else is next? We gotta get treasure. Get a treasure chest. $200, 30 experience. I think we should go for it. Let's... let's should we battle the pinks, guys? Should we battle them? Let's see. Restricted. Favored. Okay, we don't have glue gunners yet, so that's kind of bad. But I think we could take down these... I don't know, we've been having a hard time with the pinks, haven't we? Maybe I should... Uh-oh, I have too much money. I have too much money. Let's build something. How about a boomerang? I've been liking the boomerangs. Build two of them, actually. And in the mean... Should I build more? I don't know. I don't know. Upgrade buildings? Why not? Let's get one of these guys really quick. I don't even have those yet. Why would I even get that? Let's build uh, something else, like a base building. How about a tax shooter or something? Those guys don't seem like they'd be that effective, though. What would be effective? 
monkey aces, mortars could be effective versus camo balloons, or lead balloons, or darling guns. Darling guns only cost $300, so let's get a darling gun. That would be good for late game. That costs 15 minutes to freaking build, though. Holy crap. Um, upgrade building. Next thing's next. What am I going to get? Monies. Buy monies. Alright. When do I get this? Uh. Okay. Okay. Let's move on here. Let's get uh, one more green one, and then by the time I come back, I can get some pink stuff. Attack a little pink pink one. See what happens with that. I don't know. I'm kind of afraid about attacking those pinks. I feel like I'm going to lose, but we can check it out. Yeah, I just went straight up dart monkeys today. I'll get a boomerang after the next level. Because, like, most of the time, red balloons just come on this level, and it's not even a big deal anyways. Here we go. Put them on last. I usually like my boomerangs on last. They throw basically in straight lines, if you guys haven't noticed. Uh, you don't even have to worry about them hooking around or anything like that. So here we go. Level two. Uh... More bloom stones. How much do they cost? We can't actually pay for them yet. Alright. Oh, 10 to eat kiwi coins. I guess that's what it is. Oh, there's a lot of balloons I almost got through. Whoa. And that's good for group balloons, like I said. Uh, dart monkeys are clean up. This guy's for group balloons. Green balloons and stuff. This guy is still actually reasonably good versus them. But not perfect. Not perfect. Your dart monkeys are probably just a little bit better versus them. Oh man, that was tight. That was close. Look, I'll put this guy on uh, last as well. He'll throw down straight lines. Look at that. Now once you get two of them, they pretty much pop all the green balloons. And Dark Monkeys again, just clean up work. Five of five. Nice and easy. I don't know. I, f I think we're going to have a hard time versus those pinks. I really do. We don't have very much good versus them. Probably have to mass a little bit more snipers and maybe like a little bit more ninja action. And we did it. So let's try it. Let's try the pinks. I don't know, I guess. No, we only have to wait 20 seconds. Let's just check out what else we can buy. Oh, this one's almost done, too. Yay. Oh, man, you know what I just did, guys? I just wasted all my banana farm area. Why the heck did I do that? I don't know. Whatever. I guess it doesn't really matter. I can only get two anyway, so we'll build it right here. Oh, man, my throat is really starting to hurt. I've been talking all day. There we go. 80 experience. We're almost going to go up a new level soon. 230 more for next level. Okay, here we go. Pink balloon. Let's try it out. Let's see what happens. I got a bunch of boomerangs now, just in case I need them. Oh, my goodness. What are we going to start off with? I think Dart Monkeys is probably our best bet. Let's put one here. One here. It's like a jungly level. Put one right here as well. Oh, this is a perfect spot. F, yeah. Up, oh, just red balloons. Okay, so they are starting us off reasonably easy. That's good news. I think the next thing we're going to get is probably a sniper and then a boomerang. And now let's get a boomerang first. Boomerang first, put them on last, and that'll be good for reasonably good versus group of balloons. I don't think they're going to send any pinks out of us like right now. They're going to probably wait till level 5 or something. Oh, there's one already. It is a pink balloon, but our dart monkeys did take care of them. Good for us. They're not very common yet. That's good news. And there's the grouped one, so I gotta worry about those guys, because my dart monkeys are just gonna do nothing versus them. But they can take out slight amounts of pinks, actually. Yeah, yo. You do. Um, next thing, yeah, we're definitely gonna have to get a sniper, but we're not getting very much money. We do get $100, I believe, after every single round, though. I think that's just how much we get. Let's check it out. Oh, man, that's a lot of pink balloons. Holy crap. I don't know if we're gonna get no lives lost on this one. This one's gonna be close. I only got one dart monkey back there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's gonna be so freaking close. Come on, get him green. Get him green! Screw it. Screw it, guys. We did it. I'm gonna try for it. I don't know. I usually don't like selling things that much, but... I want to do it. We're gonna try for it. Now I finally got the sniper, so I feel like I, we're a lot more safe that I have that sniper. Versus, of course, all the pink balloons. Which, like, a lot of them came on that level when they probably shouldn't have came that many. Uh, and then I'm probably not even gonna, not even gonna have, like, uh, enough money to buy everything by level 8 anyways. I mean, look at that. I still got three boomerangs. I guess I do have three boomerangs. Uh, there's no way I can buy that many. And we are taking this green, this pink one down. And maybe we'll go check out that flower next. See what happens with that flower. Boomerang. 
two, three more levels still. Two and a half, really, but three more levels. I know, it just seems like they're lasting a lot longer than they normally are. I'm kind of wondering, also, what's going to happen when people attack me? Like, do they get, like, my money or something if they attack me? Or is it just, like, not bad for me? It can only be good for me? I'm not really sure. I'm getting tons of money from these things, though. My, my defense is actually really solid. I don't I don't think I could have any problems with the pinks. Except for maybe early game. Early game is the only time when I have problems with the pinks. Maybe I'll just trade one of those uh, dart monkeys out for a sniper instead. That could work. Two dart monkeys, one sniper? Yeah, that seems good. Um, And also, oh my goodness, and a ninja. We're going to need a ninja right there. It's a lot of balloons. Goodness gracious. Oh, we did! That was level 8! Yes! I didn't even realize that was level 8. Level 7 now! Yeah! Let's go play this flower. Quest complete. What did we get? What did we do? I don't even know. What did we do? What, did we build something? Long range darts. Yeah, we got another one. Oh my goodness! You captured another tile. We just got like a bunch of crap for doing that. Awesome. I also need to save up just a little bit more money to get uh, uh, this guy. The banana farm. So let's do that soon. I don't know what this is, but I kind of want to do it. Sticky sap is essential to monkey glue gunners. Click the plant to glue all balloons on the screen and use it to survive 25 rounds against stepped up balloons. I really have a feeling we're going to lose, but uh, we could try it. This is hard. But I'm not liking it. I'm not liking it very much at all. But we can try. We can, of course, try. Let's do that, that, and then we'll do one dart monkey for the end here. Stepped up balloons. I don't like the sound of that. I mean, 25 rounds, too? I don't think there's any way we're going to beat this. No freaking way. Even with awesome dart monkeys. Look at that. Uh-oh. <laughs> we're already losing lives. Okay, yeah, let's, let's try it anyways. We'll just lose. If we lose, we lose. No big dealio. I think because of that, I should probably get a ninja soon. Because ninjas will be... Or maybe even a cannon. Nah, I mean, most of the balloons they're getting through are actually just the really, really strong balloons. Like the pinks and stuff. This is how I like to start on uh, that one track called Switch on BTD5. Um... Getting like three boomerangs like this and putting them all on last. It seems kind of weird, but it actually works very effectively. Oh, look at all those black balloons already? Oh my goodness, we need to get like a 3 0 boomer or something before we play this level. There's no way we can beat it with this. Uh, let's just let us lose. Yeah, there's no freaking way. I don't know what the heck we could possibly use to beat these things so early. Maybe a glue. I guess a glue gunner might be effective. We only we're down to nine lives, though. Look at that. Oh, we lost. We lost. Okay. No problem. No problem. We're just going to play that a little bit later. It was... We just... We just went too... We went too hardcore. We lost on level four. We can still beat pink balloons and green balloons and all this stuff. Let's work our way up and do it nice and slow. So, I'd really like to get to the banana farm up before the end of this video. I think that's the plan. And let's make it happen. Make it happen. Sweet action boomerangs. So if we had to give a nickname to boomerangs, of course, you guys have heard. I really like, I think we should call them hookers. We call them hookers. What should this guy be? Pointy? We could name him Pointy. Sniper could be, uh, I don't know. I don't know. He doesn't really have a cool name. Mr. McGillicuddy. How about that? Mr. McGillicuddy, Explosion Master 5000. And way too fast in bed. That's what we can name them. Because he shoots nice and fast. Ho ho! Oh yes. You guys are probably going to comment on that and say, Oh, what the F, Chris? You're so weird. I know I'm weird. I'm a really weird person, actually. Amanda tells me all the time how weird I am. She's like, Chris, you're so weird. Oh my goodness. And I'm like, yeah, I know, I know. Get used to it, because I'm, I'm going to be like this forever. Level 5, the final wave. Can we take it down? I don't know. Probably. Probably. I hope so, at least. One last little dart monkey right here. The fancy, fancy little guy. I don't know. We should have got a Mr. McGillicuddy. He would have worked perfect for us. Because these guys are hooking like crazy over here on the street. Now, right here on the street. The edge of the street. Um. 
we need 100 more dollars. Let's get it. We need 100 more dollars. Come on. And I think after that, after we get the farm, we're going to end the video. So here we go. We're going to get a boomerang right there. We're going to get one. And why not make it two? And then a quick little dart monkey to finish them off. Alright. Um... As you guys can plainly see, boomerangs are, of course, still my favorite tower, by far. They're working amazing. I think glue gunners can actually be used very effectively on those hard levels, though, so maybe we should think about getting some uh, quickie glue gunners with corrosive glue. That would be good versus the strong balloons. Hey, why not? But also, if you haven't noticed, we might have a problem with that as well, because there's been a lot of, like, balloon mixtures. There's not been, like, oh, only black balloons. Oh, only pink balloons. It's been, like, green, blue, pink black, blue is a bunch of reds, you know, things like that. So anyways, uh, let's just get a couple Mr. McGillicuddies. Let's get two Mr. McGillicuddies over here. Put them on strong, of course. It's the best way to go around. Mr. McGillicuddy knows how to play the game. Two Mr. McGillicuddies. Think they're married? Maybe. I don't know. That's all. There's only two in the entire Bloon Monkey City right now, so I guess they have to be married, right? So you ever have thought, are all the monkeys males? Are they male and female? Or what are they? I don't know. It's kind of interesting to think about. Maybe not really. Maybe it's just a total losery thing to think about. And we won. So here we go. Let's get that farm going. I'd really like to build a farm. So we're going to go to the resource buildings. Monkey Bank Banana Farm. Look at that. It's going to take an hour to build the banana farm. Holy crap, Ola. Oh, get a treasure chest. That wasn't even a flower. There's a treasure chest. We're going to go get that pretty soon. There's only white balloons coming out. What else is this? Build what? Build a second banana farm. Okay. Tough enough. Capture one piece. Rate it hard or higher. We need to find one that's four stars. That's a pink one. Or four little thing bobs. No, not anything very close. There's one. Can we play that one? Oh, we can't play it yet. You got to get things right next to you. Oh, I guess we don't have to. We're just going to do this one really quick for you guys. This is going to be the end of the video. Let's do it. This was just a quick test to see if we could actually um, get land that's not connected to our city. Which, of course, I wasn't expecting that. Oh, I just thought about what if what if the cities, like, you start attacking people's cities by growing into their city. That would be ridiculous, like being too close to them so you have to take over their land. I never really thought about that. That is quite interesting. Hmm, indeed, indeed. Also, I think all of my progress, once I finally get, uh, once the beta is not beta anymore, it's actually, like, released, the game's released, I think all my progress is probably going to be lost, which kind of sucks. Indeed it does, but indeed, I will still keep making the videos for you guys. I'll try and make as many as, as, many as possible. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this. Please throw me a like, by the way, if you have not subscribed, if you hadn't. If you haven't, I know, I think hopefully this was exciting for you to play one full hour of Bloons Monkey City. Indeed, it was fun for me, it was maybe fun for you guys. I'm going to maybe make another video for you guys tomorrow. But, uh, hopefully I'll get it uploaded tonight as well. I really want to. I have to save it and still upload it, so it's going to take like two hours for me. Um, but here we go, my, e my ears are actually starting to hurt the way I have my headphones in and my ears and stuff. So here we go, here's my final view of the city. Let's check it out. We started off all small and tiny and it's not very fun at all, and we ended up all big and gigantic and huge. Amazing. So look at that. We actually have a little pathway, so you can't actually attack things that are like that. But can you attack things that are like a space away? No, you cannot. So only things that are like this. So we could attack that if we wanted to. So anyways, that's all I got. Hopefully this hour-long video was awesome for you guys. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.